Hello, everybody. Hello. Happy Saturday. How are you all doing? Are you enjoying your weekend? Are you having a good time? <sighs> I am. I have had a good Saturday thus far, for the most part. We had one little incident, but nothing big. Um, but yeah, welcome, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a plan with me in my Erin Condren planner. And of course we're going to be doing plan with me's all weekend long. Look for, look for those. But today I have the great joy of Erin Condren was able to give us a gift card to give away today. And, um, really exciting. The gift cards for $75 for their store. So stay tuned in the video for details on that, but we are going to be giving away the $75 this week. Isn't that so exciting? I'm so excited. I feel like that was so generous and so kind of them. And I'm so excited for you to hear all the excitement about that. But let's go ahead and get started today. And of course, before we do, you're going to want to make sure to subscribe because of the reason I just mentioned, and there's so many more, so many more, so much more Megan to have fun with. So make sure you do so. And if you're already a subscriber, then, then great. That's so fantastic. All right, let's get started. So a lot of people have asked me about, um, you know, how many planners do you actually need, lady? And I think that the answer is kind of personal to whatever your lifestyle is like and how organized you are and want to be, or maybe, you know, just kind of depends. And I have loved using this Erin Condren planner, although I'm new to it, so it's kind of unfamiliar in a lot of ways to me. Um, and I still have to kind of get my vibe to it. The, the quality of the planner has been exceptional. And I have really liked seeing the different type of planning style. So, I really needed hourly that really worked, so this is a perfect fit for my planner lineup. But what I'll say is if you don't need that many planners, great. I also want you to be well-versed in the planners that are out there so you can make an educated decision on what you need and want in a planner. All right, so for today, I'm gonna to be using the Erin Condren Color Block, which I'll probably need like 15 more of these, these Color Block stickers. I don't know what that's about, there we go. Um, like literally, I could probably have like 15 more of them. This will this will last for like five minutes. And then, but you know, I'm gonna need my cheat sheet. I'm gonna need my power sheets. Pause, pause you guys. Okay. So, I'll be throwing in some colors with the Brights stickers by Happy Planner. So as you know, I use power sheets. Um, if you don't have these also, this is not specific. I'm, I'm not doing a power sheets video. But I have loved these. But I actually have my goals in here written down for February. And um, in there is color, <laughs> my color coats <laughs> of what goals I need to work on. And so when I say that, I needed to see it because I need to know what colors I want to put down for my color blocking. So there's lots of different ways to do color blocking plan with me. Um, it, it can be specific based on you might have a certain time block for different like categories like house cleaning could be blocked into one type of category and as could productivity versus um, relaxation however you want a time block you sorry I have like a hiccup you might already have a plan for time blocking that you you know use but the way I have been time blocking since I've gotten my power sheets is by a goal. So each goal has a color. And then as I'm putting down what I need to do, I'm coloring it based on that type of color. So for today, that's what we're going to be working on. Hmm. All right. So now all my goals are very, I need a pen. And please let me know in the comments what your favorite pen is. I'm looking for some new pens in my planner lineup. I really am. I really am. Um, anyways, so the way I am using it is for, as I mentioned before, each goal, each goal has a color. And so I'm going to put the colors down for the videos that I'm working on or anything or any goals that I'm working on, not videos. <laughs> and then we're going to go from there as far as what my, what my day looks like. So my hope is that I'm going to get up when I convinced myself I'm going to get up, which is bright and early at... 5.30-ish a.m. 
Oh, I've been having like the most crooked problems ever. I've been crooked, crooked, crooked. Now I'm gonna try to cover these to where I can still see that little number if I can put them as far over as I can so I can still see it. Although I will, I will know. And I'm literally going to write out parts of my schedule for Monday and Tuesday. And then I will probably um, work on a few things throughout the week of what I know at that moment in time. There's things in my week that I don't necessarily know yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually take these and I'm just going to clip them into the top. And that way I'll have them by my planner. But it will actually work out well um, for those decision making properties beforehand but I feel like this is just going to give you an idea on color blocking and how exactly that you can do it so for example in my power sheets I'm looking at my power sheets um, tending list right now and I hope I'm not confusing you because I know it can be confusing um, and these are goals that I have set out things that I want to work towards so each as I already kind of color blocked them before with colors on there I'm going to transfer some of that information of what I know that I need to do already on those two days, three days, I probably can go into some days. And if I don't know, then I'm going to wait until I have that information before I make any, um, any commitments, but I'm going to try to be ready and record my videos by 8 a.m. on Monday. Monday's going to be super busy. Now, an appointment that I have is actually, I, it, it's kind of hard, it's kind of almost more personal related. I'm actually going to be meeting with this lovely gal and we're going to talk about planners but I would categorize it because she is someone who maybe in one time will buy a home so I'm going to categorize it as real estate but it could be really anything at 10 a.m. so if I record videos bright and early at 8 a.m. and I may if I record all my videos um this weekend then I might not have to even worry about that but we'll see I do try to record, for those of you aspiring YouTubers, I do try to do my best to record as much as I can in a block. So that way I don't, you know, I, I try. I try to. All right, then 4 p.m. I really hate, like those specific colored tabs, though. Like, I need certain colors out of here, but not all the colors are going to match. So, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Um, how showing. Okay, now. I am going to put this color, although it's not the exact color, I'm going to put it over here just to give myself <gasps> I put it crooked again oh my goodness sometimes you're like, Megan, what are you doing? And the answer is, I don't know. I do love these, though. Lead. Gen. And I'm going to do that through. So I need to kind of be more particular about how I write that in there, my to-do list. This is a great example of if you have, like, tasks to finish in some form or fashion so when like for example if I have an appointment like I have one at 10 and one at four um obviously those are the times that they start so that means that I need a little bit of buffer to get there so I obviously in my mind like you probably don't have to be that detailed where you have to plan out the 10 minutes to drive to a location but it is good to take that into consideration when you're scheduling things before or after it because you don't know what you might mess up um, I do have, which I'm just going to peg it a color that's like random. This dark green might work. I have orange. I'm going to put this dark green because it, um, you know, it's dark green. But I have an office meeting.
Okay. And then Wednesday, which I would say I need another blue for. I'll probably use this blue. So these, I'm going to be all over the maps with my blues, but anything blue related is specific to like my real estate goals. Oh, that's not 6 a.m. Oops. I'm going to put, put it, it's really at 8, probably 8.45, but I'm going to put it at 9. Board meeting. I'm the president this year, so I have to be there and be on my best behavior because I'm the one who runs the meeting, so that's exciting. Um, and then sometime on Monday, I did say afternoon, so but I will have some kind of phone conversation to do with my association stuff and then see sometime in the day which I won't know till the day before I have couches being delivered but I don't know when they're coming so I have to wait till Tuesday to really plan that out for Wednesday so that's why it's going to stay a little bit more um on that front and then we're going to get over to Thursday Valentine's Day and guess what guys I have a Valentine's I have three little two little ones one big and a and my, and my dad he's always my Valentine too but that means that I need to schedule that and make sure that I've put it on there that we're going to do something, whether it be with my children or be it without my children. I don't know yet, but that's what we're going to do. Valentine's dinner. So exciting. I really want to go to those paint nights. I don't exactly know what we're going to do yet, but I'm going to find something fun for us to do. He told me it was my responsibility to plan that. Um, so we'll, we shall just have to see about that. All right. So then a few more things I'm going to add into this week before I color it up with some fun stickers is I need to... Sorry, I was thinking. Um, that will actually be on Friday. So I know a couple things. Friday, which it isn't at, on this particular calendar, but live night. 9 p.m. is me and the hubby go live every Friday for your hanging out enjoyment. And then I think we're going to try to potentially on Wednesday, although I don't know a specific time, but I may add that we might try to record more. Although we have plenty of installments, we might try to record more for our podcast. Um, if you haven't already heard of that also, we're just, we're just everywhere. We're everywhere you can find us. Sold in stores everywhere. No, but really, so we just launched a podcast called Gray Areas, so I'm really excited about that. And... Um, Now I need to look, sorry, I'm looking over at my goal thing so I can figure out what my, what my plan is here. But yeah, so, ooh, okay, and then I have one more over here, which I guess I'm just going to have to use this like green blue. I need more of these. I'm going to have to buy more. Because I will go through these like real quick. Like color blocking is something that I really enjoy doing when I do it properly. But I also like to heavily decorate. So for my hour, I hourly layout, I uh, definitely like to. I might actually do this here. Okay. All right. So that's that. So this is a good start. This is a good start to my week. So um, basically, if you don't know already, uh, as I mentioned before, what I have been doing is 
And this could change because I've changed so much already. Um, in fact, I probably need to do some giveaways with the planners that I have but I haven't been using that I've switched over to different planners with. But I plan to try to work more out of my hourly because it's really important to give yourself time to actually do the things that you say you're going to do. So all of my goals require me to get up early, all of them. None of them are like, hey, be lazy and sleep in, although that is my ideal goal in life. <laughs> no, but so, and, and that's like my kryptonite because I love sleeping in and I'm really a night owl. So unless night owling is making me productive, I kind of need to get better about that. But um, for the sake of this planner, it is going to be my hourly it's hourly. It's going to be more my time blocking planner for right now. It's really going to be productivity planner, but that does not mean that I still cannot make it kind of fun, right? So like, I'm just going to look for a few stickers that I can put down in the margins and area that I know I'm not going to have anything I need to hourly lay out for fun and just keep it super lighthearted. You have got this, babe. And the colored option is really just the best one. Happy vibes. I don't know where I want the happy vibes. Maybe on Sunday morning. All right, so that is going to be it for right now in this moment. But it is giveaway time. It is giveaway time. So for those of you who want to be entered into the $75 giveaway gift card, it is a gift card. So you can go to their website. You can go to one of their retail stores. You can use it any – well, I think really the website would be ideal, but you can use any fashion that you want to. And how you enter to be part of this giveaway is leave me a comment below with your favorite planner accessory and make sure your current subscriber give the video a big thumbs up. And while this is not a requirement for winning the giveaway, I would love if you would share this with a friend that you feel would benefit from this video and potentially may want to enter into their, their, uh, into their giveaway. But if you are not going to be, you know, part of the giveaway, if you just want to go check it out, they do have discounts. I've linked them below. They do have discounts going on right now, sales for their planners. So you should be able to get that look at that also. But this is a great start to the week. This hopefully will give you an idea on time blocking and color blocking your schedule. I hope that I've covered it. I will try to cover it a little more in detail when I have a more concrete week lined out so you can see exactly what I do, but I do break it down per goal and not per hour, and that way I can kind of get an idea on what I'm working towards. So I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget, leave me a comment below. I want to hear your favorite pen also, but you know, leave me a comment below with that, and can't wait to see who the winner is. Talk to you all soon. Have a great night.